Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna bring you three fantastic value stocks, guys, which are great buys right now, which are part of Berkshire Hathaway's portfolio. We're gonna be talking about his portfolio, talking about the stocks he has, and the most recent activity that we've seen as he's made some sales, made some buys. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so Berkshire may have just sold some of his Apple stock last quarter, but he just initiated a new position in Ulta Beauty, something we're going to talk about in a minute. He also held on to Occidental Petroleum and MasterCard. These are the three stocks that I want to highlight today because I think these are fantastic buys as we're looking at Berkshire Hathaway and the shares that they're holding. All right, so Warren Buffett, guys. His 94th birthday was August 30th. His Berkshire Hathaway stock hit an all-time high. I mean, what a fantastic birthday, right? Uh, continuing to rise despite broader market declines. His portfolio is now, Berkshire, Berkshire Hathaway is now up over 27% year to date, outperforming both the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ composite by a very wide margin. So he reduced his stake in Apple earlier this year. He trimmed his Bank of America stake by 14.5% since mid-July. Then we got Ocidone Petroleum, MasterCard, Ulta. He maintained or added to significant holdings in these companies. That's what we're looking at because whatever they're doing, we need, we need to check it out. We need to figure out what's going on because he, of course, I mean, Warren Buffett gets fantastic results. We need to see what's going on. I think all three of these stocks are great. Looked into them. All right, first of all, Occidental Petroleum is ticker OXY. Berkshire holds 27.3% of Occidental Petroleum, valued at over $14 billion. Here's the current challenge. The stock is hovering around a 52-week low. Impacted by a decline in oil prices, WTI crude fell below $70 per barrel. But here's the rationale, guys, for why this is a great investment, even though they're right at their 52-week low. Number one, low break-even costs. Occidental can break even at lower oil prices with Crown Rock acreage having break-even levels, guys, below $60 per barrel. Number two, balance sheet health. Occidental has improved its financial stability by paying down debt. Number three, their carbon capture projects. By investing in carbon capture and storage, which could provide long-term environmental and revenue benefits. And number four, guys, valuation. Occidental trades at a low price to earnings ratio of only 13.5 and a price to free cash flow ratio of 13, making it, guys, a very attractive value investment. All right, so that's Occidental. Again, challenges, it's got a low right now, it's, it's at its 52 week low, okay? But a lot of potential. Let's look at MasterCard next, all right? MasterCard, ticker MA, they've got a strong competitive advantage or a, or a competitor moat built around this company. I mean, when we talk about market dominance, along with Visa, MasterCard dominates the credit card transaction space, benefiting from a large network effect. Their operating margin is 58.6%, guys, and their low long-term debt, only $8.2 billion, contributes to their profitability and their financial health. And they're growing their services. MasterCard's value-added services like fraud prevention, cybersecurity solutions are expanding faster than its core payment processing business. And then we gotta talk about valuation. It's trading at a higher forward PE ratio, 33.3, but the company's growth prospects and their business quality justify the premium over the S&P 500. And then finally, we gotta talk about Ulta Beauty, guys, because this is the new addition to Warren Buffett's portfolio. Uh, Berkshire recently initiated this position in Ulta, now owning 1.5% of the company, which is valued at around $250 million. All right, here's the current outlook for this fantastic company. There are some challenges, 
Ulta's earnings call was less optimistic, management lowering its outlook due to competition and weaker consumer spending. When we look at the cosmetic industry and the trends right now, the industry's growth has slowed. Consumers are shifting towards value-focused brands like great companies like Elf Beauty, uh, affecting premium brands and Ulta's profitability. And guys, just, just a note on Elf Beauty. That's one of my stocks that I am proud to own, guys, as I feel like in the cosmetic industry, people are shifting toward that. So go check out my videos on why I personally have bought Elf Beauty. But here's the investment case for Ulta. First of all, evaluation. Ulta's stock trades at low valuation, below its historic median levels, and it's got long-term potential. For patient investors, you gotta be patient. Ulta remains a solid play in the cosmetic space, particularly, guys, as the industry is expected to recover in the future. It's not always gonna stay down. It's cyclical, goes up, goes down. All right, guys, those are three stocks from Warren Buffett, Buffett's portfolio that I think are fantastic value stocks to buy, but I'm curious to know what you think, so leave a comment down below and let me know. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video want to see more videos like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Guys, I am buying a stock every single week, and I'm making a video on why I bought it right here on the channel. Guys, just FYI, I don't own any of these three stocks that I talked about today. I'm making these videos because I want to cover all the stocks that are on my watch list because they're fantastic. I can't buy everything, right? But if you want to know what stocks I am personally buying, then go subscribe to the channel, guys. Check out the playlist, Why I Just Bought, because those are the stocks that I'm putting my money in and I release a new episode every single week because I buy in on something every single week. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.